eigenvalue and eigenvectors, right? When we do a matrix multiplication of linear system, ax equal to f, where a is a size m times n, right? We can rewrite the start of matrix to the eigenvalue and eigenvectors notation, where we uh, propose v as eigenvector. Right, there are so many elements in eigenvectors n times 1 and there is eigenvalue right? also the value the element of eigenvalue is n right? so now to rewrite this we can um, state it as av equal to lambda v a is a matrix a n times n size, v n times 1 and lambda, okay, is also n times 1 and v is a 1 times n, this one is n times 1, alright. So this is the way how we write the eigenvalue and eigenvector to represent a linear system ax equal to f. So, we rewrite as AV equal to lambda V equal to 0. Right? We bring lambda V on your left hand side. So, the vector will be rewrite as a, a minus lambda V. Lambda I, I is an identity and V is also a vector. So, the polynomial of degree N or the characteristics polynomial of A is equal to zero. Uh, that's we want, okay, where a minus lambda i is equal to zero. Okay, to make its balance on your right hand side equation. Now we uh, can learn here, alright, uh, in this chapter, okay, about eigenvalue and eigenvector. Okay, there are uh, three things. Okay, the first is gauche green theorem okay, to find the area of or the region of lambda okay where is the lambda so we can detect the region the area of lambda second is we are using a power method okay a power method is used to find the um, dominant eigenvalue the dominant eigenvalue all right so we call the dominant eigenvalue as lambda one all right if we have n size of matrix n times n so we have uh, n element of lambda all right so the next is we want to find uh, other lambda okay other eigenvalue we call mm, this method as shifted power method. We call it as a shifted power method. Okay, this method is important because we can find other value of eigenvalue, for example, other element of eigenvalue, for example, lambda 2, lambda 3, up to lambda n. Right? So, meaning is that when we have a lambda, Okay, we can get the value of vector eigen associated with the eigen value. So we can find the V which is associated with the eigen value. Alright, so uh, if the matrix is 3 by 3, so we have 3 eigen vectors and 3 eigen values. Okay, the next is uh, why we learn gauche green theorem. We learn gauche green theorem because we want to find the region of eigenvalue. Right? To get the region, we need to know the radius of the uh, region. Okay? So the radius of this circle or this region, okay, which is in circle, is a summation summation uh, 
uh, absolute a i g where i is not equal to g so it means that the matrix is not at the diagonal okay so um, a i j is not a i i is not at the diagonal matrix right so the region is z minus a i i less than r i so the we need to find okay, the uh, r i is a summation a i j and the region should be uh, less than the radius okay the overall eigenvalue of matrix a is a union of all the region okay all of the region the region is in the circle in the um, circle area so now let's we go to the example 7.1 use the gauche blurin theorem to define the region containing all the eigenvalues of a so we don't know what is the lambda eigenvalues okay, there is three eigenvalues here because the matrix is three by three sides so uh, we have three circles okay, involved in this case. Alright, so uh, be careful because uh, we need to find the uh, R and then the region is C. Alright, uh, Z is an um, uh, element of C. Alright, and the important is we need to do a union all of the region to get the area, the region, the location of eigenvalue. So if the matrix 3 by 3, so we have 3 eigenvalue here. We have 3 eigenvalue. So this eigenvalue SOC okay, is, uh, depends on the eigenvector. V1, V2, and V3. Every eigenvector have the element. So it means that V1, there is a 3 element. V2, there is 3 element. V3 is a 3 element. Depends on the lambda. So when we write the circle, we can see that okay, the location of lambda is maybe in the region C1, C2, and C3. Okay? As we remember, the formulation of radius is equal to summation AIJ. So, uh, based on the formulation of R equal to summation AIJ, okay, where I is not equal to J, okay, and uh, the R is a radius. Okay, A is a matrix, 3 by 3, where the, I, the, the diagonal matrix is a 4 to 9. So, the rest is considered as a AIJ. So, for A1, 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 A1 2, okay, and then uh, we try to um, draw one dimensional graph to represent the region. Okay, so A12, A13 uh, is 0 and negative 1. Take the epsilon, okay, take the absolute so we can get positive 2. And the rest is uh, R2 is A21 and A23, 1 plus 0 equal to 1. And R3, A31 plus A32, 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So we know the radius, okay, radius. So radius for C1 is 2, started from the center for 0. So we know that okay, C1 is between the interval 2 and 6. C2, the radius is 1, so C2 is between the radius 1 and the interval 1 to 3. And then C3 is the interval 7 to uh, 11 because the radius is 2. 
started from the center line 0. So from here, we can find the region. DU is a union CI. We have 3 C. So we can get 2 to 6 union C2. So we can get uh, the region is between 1 to 6. And then union C3, 7 to 11, which is uh, out of the uh, C1 union C2. So the union here is 1 to 7 and uh, 7 to 11. So this is a location of value lambda for matrix K where the lambda is somewhere between 1 to 6 union 7 to 11. We can find lambda by using the power matrix. How to find dominant eigenvalue? Okay, so the dominant eigenvalue lambda is lambda 1. Okay, since we have three n number of uh, eigenvalues for matrix A, we need to find lambda 1 first as a dominant eigenvalues for matrix A associated with the V1. V1 is a vector eigen for matrix A. So, we provide the I uh, power method okay, to solve this problem. Power method is depend on the um, VK plus 1 equal to 1 over MK plus 1. MK plus 1 is eigen value. Matrix A times vector eigen for the previous iteration. Alright, so we need to find eigenvalue okay, or we can rewrite as an mk plus 1. k is a number of iteration. Alright, so the first step is find um, find uh, v, okay, vk, right? vk is eigenvalue and then times matrix A, alright, we can get 1 um, matrix n times 1. And then divided by MK plus 1, okay, I will produce VK plus 1. So there is a three element we need to know. The first is V, A, V, K, and then the last is MK plus 1. So mat A is a matrix for solving a linear system equation AX. So this power method is very important because uh, they can generate, they can give us the mk plus 1 which is the lambda 1. Power method is an iteration method. So as we know that if there is an iteration method, we need to create a table. Depends on vk, avk and mk plus 1. mk plus 1. Alright, so this is what we do now, alright, um, to generate the optimum, okay, the maximum eigenvalue. Okay. So how to stop the iteration? To stop the iteration, so we need to...